We have some special guests today. We got Mr. Mark Bowler. Hello there. Coming in from out of town. We'll get to him later. So here's the fridge hatch, large. And these are storage hatches. Right. Uh, these here's hinges. The hinge. These flush fitting table hinges. Yeah. <laughs> See how it's not sagging? Yeah. It's maintained its uh, stipple. Okay, nice word. We're keeping it vertical so it emulates the bulkhead. Okay. okay, so here is the old bulkhead. Here, let's get in the shade here. It's actually better if we go in the shade. And this is the back side of it. Black Just 5200. Yummy. <laughs> Here we are, June 2nd, 2015. We have some special guests today. We got Mr. Mark Bowler. Hello there. Coming in from out of town. You might remember Mark from episode two, many moons ago. He's reprising his role here. So here's the fridge hatch, large. And these are storage hatches. Right. Uh, these here's hinges. The first one, hinge. These flush fitting table hinges. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a double action hinge. You go like this, and it hinges again. See it? Okay, Sweet. interesting. So that's how those are. Okay. Now you could, in theory, put a chart on here because they aren't flush. Feel how it moves twice? Yeah. Now, on these hinges, these are called table hinges. They have these little tabs, they're stainless steel. And when you want a flush fitting door like this, mm -hmm. you have to sit there and file those little tabs down by hand until they go beyond horizontal. Otherwise, the door won't close because it's a double action hinge. Yeah, this is the underside of the fridge compartment. Yeah. It's all sealed and painted now. Okay. You can see the vents. That, the shelf just sitting in there for now. Because when we it's start planking, it's not installed. You want it's to all it. drilled, ready to go. We just don't want to put it in because when we're planking, we need to get to some of those bolts we're going to put in. Okay. Because we have to drill from the inside out, like always, and access the paint and the planks once they're in. Yeah. You know, detailing yeah, them up. Yeah. Pull the pull the shelf out. Just pull it out. The, the bulkhead that divides the fridge from the other storage area is done. It's all ready to go. So we'll go up and take a look. Okay, yeah, this bulkhead here um, was really, <laughs> the first six inches or so went great. We thought this is gonna be snap, but then it just got harder and harder. So we tried strippers, acetone, lacquer thinner, end up heat gun and scraper. Right. And uh, um, So why, <laughs> it wouldn't come apart? No, it wouldn't let go. And then down here, this was all delaminated. And so Quint uh, spread this apart and we forced epoxy down in there. So it's all good again. Um, so the next thing is to glue the veneer on these two bulkheads, this okay. whole bulkhead. And then we'll move up into the stateroom. This stuff has some moderate rebuilding that needs to be done because it's all, um, you know, it's just kind of, uh, kind of cuff. <laughs> so we have to go both sides are that way to some degree or another uh, so we have to take care of that and but then, they don't need to be rebuilt these frame pieces. well you can use the face frames the face, again yeah. and some of this other stuff but all the support frames and whatnot and the drawer slides <laughs> mm -hmm. and then um, and then we go up to the stateroom so we basically the next by next in a couple of weeks we'll see these veneered. And then these are the old those old little plywood shelves under the sessions. These are all these are for the main uh, saloon. Yeah. Right. Which on the starboard, which one is this? Port side. The starboard side. We're gonna have to reconfigure something for that tank that's gonna go in there. A new engine room door or a new look. Mm. Engine room door. 
Yeah, that's the engine room door. Here's the drawer, which we saw in episodes past. All right, well, keep Stay adding some more stuff in here. <laughs> See how it's not sagging? Yeah. It's maintained its uh, stipple. Okay, nice word. You're keeping it vertical, so it emulates the bulkhead. Okay. So, um, that was put on at 10, so an hour and 15 minutes. It's usually about a three hour gig before it's time to now, roll it and on. And then you're gonna put this piece on? Yes. Okay. Now this piece looks wet right now. That's all this is, regular epoxy. <laughs> so this is the, the back side of it. Yeah, this is a piece of a scrap of the uh, uh, Negri. And uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, so it's about glue. three hours, depending so on temperature. On both sides, not just glue on one side. Oh, never. Almost it's never do you do that. And then now that you already had a sample, let's take a look at the sample. Well, this was an experiment that. So, because we're able to see what it's going to kind of look like. Uh, I was testing this adhesive. And. It's fairly strong, but I don't. Now, I'm gonna leave it. I'm, the stain. Now, I'm gonna leave this overnight. See how it does, because it's. We gonna stain this one? But we're not gonna stain it. We're just gonna. Uh, Satin varnish. Right. Okay, because we need to test that, because I know Renee would like that. Being well, I'll, I'll tell involuntary. you what, Clint. Let's open that can of varnish oh. and slap it on. I'm done rolling this. We're just gonna leave this dry overnight. Okay. You see this flaming, they call it in here? You move the wood like that? Yeah. It's in here, see it? Now this has been sitting in a warehouse. It's darkened up with age. And that's the part we put some uh, varnish on a while back. So what kind of wood is this to re replicate? This is a- It's real a, wood. It's real wood, what kind is it? A negre. A negre, uh -huh. negre, yeah. Where does it come from? It's some tropical hardwood, probably from Bangladesh or uh, Bongo Bongo Island. I don't freaking know. There's so many hardwoods. You know, there's guys that can talk for hours about the different species. You know what I'm saying? No. And they know where they come from. They know. It's a beautiful wood, isn't it? I like it. I mean, uh, it's it's. I like it better than the oak that we were looking so that's at. That's going to be the base. Where are you going to put that? This is going on the bulkhead. You're getting near the final stages of a long process. It's going to be an incredible project when it's complete. I still think you should consider while it's up, putting a better engine in and be done with it. Now you were one of the first people to say uh, you should do a more of a full restoration than yeah. just the patchwork. Yeah, you were going to do the bow and I said this needs more than that. And once you get them in there, you should keep working on it. And, and this is where you obviously have tremendous happy memories and it means a lot to you, to your brother as well. So continue to complete it with fully powered and you'll be very satisfied in it for a long time. Now you see the color, yeah. how that's gonna look. The grain's not gray. going away, but yeah. I'm See if you can go up. hold the grain the other way. Hold on in. Just like that. Yeah. Very nice. From there. Yeah, it'll darken up a little bit. And again, there. that's plenty dark though, really, when you see it here. You definitely don't wanna put a stain on it or else it would look because it almost looks white, like Look, you can see the yeah. difference. Okay, so here is the old bulkhead. Here, let's get in the shade here. It's actually better if we go in the shade. And this is the back side of it. Black 5200. Yummy. <laughs> Yummy, but you got it all off in one piece, pretty much. I use a heat gun. Did you want it off in one piece for the template? Yeah. For the template, this yeah. This is a template, I'm just turn it upside down. Yeah. And then I put this tape on there when I was working because when it was on the wall I had a I had the heat gun going. But I had these I had a big long metal straight edge that I was ramming and heat gunning to get this off. Oh okay, heat gunning from the top. Heat gunning from the top and then ramming and going like this and it just took forever. That's what all these little marks are right here. That's from the metal straight uh -huh. pushing and of course it broke in a couple spots, but no, but good enough to get the template. Yeah, yeah. See, that one wasn't. That's why I took the framing and the settee chair and all that uh -huh. everything out of the way. 
to get that one off. This one was already cut where they did the repair. So okay. Was, the repair was like from here down or, yeah. or here up, I believe. Yeah, it was up. God, it almost looks like maybe they did replace a bit of Formica. Maybe this is a replacement piece, just like we That's found. Thinking, just yeah. like we found Formica. They could have found it. All right, well, yeah, hey, those are... The residue that this left on the port side, on the wood... <laughs> was worse than the 5200 on the other side? Okay, yeah, but once I got it off, the 5200 and a heat gun, it scrapes off, off in a couple days. This yeah. stuff... This stuff wouldn't come off. I tried every solvent known to man. Alcohol, acetone, uh, what else? lacquer thinner, and nothing worked except the heat gun and a scraper. Wow. This is what I was scraping, just freaking piles of 5200. Wow, look at that, nasty. God. Nasty. So that was just <laughs> scraping it off? And it looks like you got a lot of wood in there too. Oh yeah. And then I went back over the whole bulkhead with the 80 grit. A lot of the plywood is missing. Okay. So I filled the epoxy, spread this open, glued everything back together all the way up there. So even though you had to sand it and scrape it, you didn't lose much much width of thickness? thickness. No, 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 not even a sixteenth. I don't think. Not even a sixteenth. But everything we got all this back solid again, yeah, that looks smooth, good. ready Excellent. to receive. So. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. That's a lot, that. lot of work right there, Let's just to prep there. prep all this. Oh yeah. Wow. yesterday's test and we didn't really babysit it all that good so in a few places we were able to get a putty knife under there and start peeling it back so For changed course here so now what we've done over here is we wet this out with straight epoxy two hours and 45 minutes ago and this we wet out with straight epoxy and then a few minutes later followed up the colloidal silica mix and you can see this stipple on here. So we, we kept this upright to emulate the bulkhead. And it, it's a success. So now we're going to put this on and uh, roll it out. This is what we'll be doing on the bulkhead. Now can the you bulkhead. Give me a rag with some acetone on, please. Oh, yeah, you got a little glue on the other side, huh? Yeah. Uh, alcohol. Yeah. So now you pretend like you're putting this big sheet up on the bulkhead. You, you'll be able to move it a little. See that? Unlike contact cement. Yeah, you can move it. Contact cement, as soon as it touches, you're done. You, you, you're, it's <laughs> Get it right. Hold it yeah, and with a big floppy piece like that, ooh, your chances of, of blowing it are pretty good. See, there's the color will come out with the varnish, by the way. Pretty? Very. And we're gonna have the grain running vertically, correct? Yeah. Okay. And then we take this veneer roller, we roll it out. Now, this is not done yet. It's about five to six hours, four to six hours, depending on temperature, that you have to babysit this. So if this were up on the bulkhead inside the boat, we'd roll it out and every 20 minutes or so, go up and check it and roll it again. So that no air bubbles and no uh, imperfections. And you know that you've got the two surfaces well mated together. We'll see. Um, the bulkhead should be. Oh, yeah. You'll send us some photos of that. Today's Tuesday. I would like to have those glued in tomorrow. Wow. But That's I think what we'll do, we'll, we'll tread on the side of caution. We'll glue one in. One side? Yeah, that way we can start reconstructing that settee. And if it goes well, and I think it will, I'm 98% sure, we'll just glue the other side in. <laughs> Great, okay, so that'll be, the, that'll be a big design feature. And then we have to, to varnish the edge banding on these. Okay. Paint the bottom of the lids, paint the bottom of the countertop, it only needs a single primer and a single coat because you never see it. It's mainly for protection. Okay. And then uh, we'll just keep moving on through the interior. Okay. Not much so left there to end. do. Hmm? Not much left to do. No. Well, in three years. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can jump like that. It would be launching ceremony. Well, we better be done. <laughs>